Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with the LaunchBox news. Today we're proud to announce LaunchBox 8.0. It's been a long time coming. We've been working up to this point and there are a lot of new improvements and some awesome features built in. I'm gonna go over a few of them here, just the main ones. I have done a few videos in the past on betas that did include some of these, but these will be in the official 8.0 release. Big Box now has an integrated PDF reader for viewing your manuals. You can control it with your controller instead of having to use your keyboard and mouse. It's a big plus for people who love manuals. Next up, the newest feature that I'm most excited about is RetroArch NetPlay integration. We no longer have to open up RetroArch to start a NetPlay session. We can do it from within LaunchBox and BigBox. I really enjoy it. I actually play with one of my buddies in Illinois. He's about 700 miles away from me and we play Street Fighter all the time. I've also tested it out with a buddy in Australia. I'm in America and we had a really good time playing some Metal Slug. I know a lot of you haven't messed around with it, so I will have a tutorial video on how to set this up coming up very shortly, so stay tuned for that. The next new addition is a new download update community star ratings. It's gonna be located in the tools menu. Now what this is gonna allow us to do is download updated community star ratings a lot faster. LaunchBox and big box startup times have been significantly reduced, so everything's gonna start up a lot smoother, a lot faster, and everything should populate much quicker. And lastly, this new startup screen. So in the past, we've had a very small window, not much bigger than this box here. We've added a newer startup screen here. We'll also be able to add more news to this startup screen. It's gonna be really good for keeping you guys updated when you start up LaunchBox. To check out the full change log, we can just click right here. I'll also leave a link to the change log in the description. We're just gonna scroll down a bit here. Version 8.0, all the new features, all the new improvements. Now I'm not gonna go over every single thing here in this video, but I wanted to show you guys that you can view the change log to see what's new. One thing that I should mention here is that Steam import has been fixed. A lot of people were having troubles importing their Steam library. That has been fixed in version 8.0. If you wanna read the change log, link is in the description. With all that out of the way, I wanted to go ahead and show you a few of these new features in action, except for the RetroArch NetPlay integration. Like I mentioned, I will have a full video tutorial coming up. I'll show you exactly how to set it up. And I'm gonna get up with some of my friends in different parts of the world. We're gonna do a little bit of gameplay for you guys. But while we're here, let's check out how to update the new community star ratings. I'll also show you how to start up NetPlay. So if you're looking to update the community star rating ratings within LaunchBox, it's really simple to do. I have rated this game five stars. Neo Geo is one of my favorite systems of all time. I love most of the games on there. We're gonna go to tools. From here, we're just gonna scroll down to download updated community star ratings. Yes. Give it a little time. It's gonna update. Now this really depends on how many games you have. As you can see, I have 2,375 right now. I know a lot of you guys have a lot more than this, but as I've been making the tutorials, I've been adding them to this build here. Click OK. When it's finished, our community star ratings will be updated. Nobody here has rated 2020 Super Baseball or Super Baseball 2020, whatever you want to call it. 1941, I'm sure has some, yes. 3.45. It's still orange. I have not rated this game. I'm going to go with four stars. Community star rating is 3.45. 32 people have rated this game. So that's a cool feature there. We can quickly update those ratings. Next up, I just want to show you the integration of NetPlay within LaunchBox. I'm going to go down to my Super Nintendo. Now NetPlay will only work with RetroArch cores and not all cores are supported. We're gonna find a two player game here. Something I'm sure is two players. Battletoads, Double Dragon. I'm gonna right click. Now I'm using SNES 9X inside of RetroArch to emulate these SNES games. If we right click, we're gonna scroll down to RetroArch NetPlay. It's gonna open this window up. RetroArch NetPlay is only supported by certain cores. It's also imperative that all users connecting via NetPlay have the exact same core, version, and ROM file. 
so you need the exact same ROM file in order to connect. My host name will be ETA Prime. If you want to join a game, you can always put your nickname in, contact your buddy who is hosting a Netplay server right now, put the host address in, click OK, and you'll be connected to their server. Now there is a little more setup here. Please read the RetroArch Netplay Getting Started FAQ before proceeding. I will be doing a full tutorial, so don't worry about that. It's really not that hard to set up. You can be playing online with your friends around the world in no time. We're going to go ahead and cancel out of here. That was just a couple new features I wanted to show you here with LaunchBox 8.0. Definitely read the change log, download it, and try everything out for yourself. And now it's time for this week's Community Spotlight. I was digging through the forum looking for some new stuff to show off and I found these two new awesome themes. The first one is by Rinse Win. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, I completely apologize. The link for this will be in the description. This is a beautiful theme here. Now I have it set up. I love vertical wheels, so I set it up with vertical wheels. You can also set it up to do horizontal. He does include the font that you'll need in the download package. And he also has a pack console logos that go right with this theme. So this is a really well thought out theme here. And I just really like the look of it. So a big shout out to Rinse Win. Links in the description if you're interested in checking this one out. I definitely recommend it. Next up, we have another awesome theme by Y2Guru. He built this from scratch. It offers five views per platform and game, three horizontal, one vertical, and one text. It's called PASC 3840 by 2160. It does support 4K, 1080p, and 720p. Looks really good, very minimal, and I love the carbon look. We're gonna go into Atari Lynx. I recently did a video on this. Just give you a look here. Very smooth performance. He did a great job on this. I mean, I can't say much more. Go ahead and download it. Link is in the description. I wanna show you another platform here. We'll just go to, I'll do Super Nintendo. And I'll tell you, I did test this out in 4K. It looks amazing at that resolution. One of my favorite new themes here. So both of these themes are really great. I'm gonna leave links for both of these in the description. You can download them from the forum. They're very easy to install. One of them does come with a font and you'll definitely wanna install that. But it's super simple. If you do download these themes and you really like them, leave a comment on the post. There is a way to rate themes on the forum, and I definitely encourage it. So that's it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. Go ahead, try out version 8.0. I will have that Netplay video out very shortly, so stay tuned to the channel for that. And like always, thanks for watching.